So what this law says and how it safeguards the people, let us see in the video. Women who can donate the eggs, the age should be. And for man who can donate the sperm, the age should be between. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any important updates related to infertility. It's law really needed for the fertility treatment? Yes, absolutely it is needed. This Assisted uh, Reproductive Technology Regulation Act 2021 brought about revolutionary change in the India's IVF history. This law is passed to safeguard all the couple who are seeking the fertility treatment and it is passed to supervise this ART clinic or ART bank for safe and ethical practice. So what this law says and how it safeguards the people, let us see in the video. So coming to the uh, you know uh, age of the couple, so women age should be uh, between 21 and uh, 50 years and if you take a man the age should be between 21 and 55 years for seeking the ART treatment. Coming to the marital status, any women who are above 21 years and are Indian citizen can avail the ART services. So, whether it's a married woman or a single woman who are like a single mother or unmarried can avail the ART treatment. And all the ART clinics and the ART banks should be registered under this act. Without being registered, none of the clinic or bank should uh, provide any treatment regarding the ART services. And uh, coming to the procedures, see for all the procedures, a written and informed consent should be taken and um, all the procedures should be given a discharge certificate. And coming to the ART bank, the clinics who are getting their donor gametes, either egg or sperm from the uh, ART banks and this bank. Uh, should uh, you know screen all their donors from any medical disorders and um, the donors uh, should, the insurance should be provided and the ART clinics should maintain the confidentiality of the commissioning couple and the women and the donors and uh, coming to the donor age if you see uh, women who can donate the eggs the age should be between 23 and 35 years and for man who can donate the sperm the age should be between 21 and 55 years of age so the ART bank should not um, you know, donate uh, the donor oocyte or uh, sperm to more than one commissioning couple. And the, uh, the oocyte donor can donate her eggs only once in her lifetime. And the child born through these ART procedures or the biological child of the commissioning couple and the child can entitle um, all the rights and privileges uh, from the commissioning couple. The donor can relinquish all her parental rights um, uh, of the, uh, to the child who are born from her or um, uh, his gamut. And uh, this all the clinic and bank should have the grievance cell and uh, without uh, the consent none of the gametes or embryos can be preserved. And uh, coming to the record keeping, so all the records should be maintained by the ART bank or the ART clinic uh, and uh, all uh, for 10 years they have to maintain all the records. Uh, after 10 years all these data is to be transferred to the central database of the national registry. And the pre-implantation genetic testing has to be done only when there is a known heritable or genetic disease um, and uh, determination of the sex of the child to be born through ART procedure is strictly prohibited. So these are the you know uh, the laws um, of the ART uh, treatment and the this ART regulation act 2021 is a need of the hour to safeguard uh, the fertile uh, the infertility couple who seek the fertility treatment. Thank you. For more information visit our website www.indraivf.com or call 1-800 309-4410. Keep following us and leave your fertility related questions in the comments below and get answers from Indira IVF doctors.